What's up guys and welcome back to Supercars of Westchester. As of right now, customers have already collected their brand new 2020 mid-engine Corvettes, so keep an eye out on the roads to spot one near you. This is very exciting to finally see these cars out on the public roads in their natural habitat, as this has been the most anticipated car ever. So I thought it would be a good idea to go over some of these crazy mid-engine Corvette renders that were done way before it was unveiled and before the car was ever spotted testing or even mentioned. It's cool to see the designs that people came up with and compare them to what we actually got. I absolutely love the design that we got for the production C8 and I really think they nailed it. Some of these renders are pretty ridiculous and don't even look like a Corvette but it's still pretty cool to see. There are different elements from each one that I like and also some that I do not like so I'll go over each one of them here. The first one here, I do not like the design of the front end at all. It kind of has a Lotus Evora look to it and just seems too short and dull. Not all that much going on there and the front air intakes are not as large as what we got on the C8. The back end here though I thought was pretty cool. The circular tail lights bring back that Corvette design element that I think a lot of people like and we kind of lost on the C7s. So I think to see this rear end on the current C8 would be pretty cool to see. This next one here is pretty interesting. I see design elements from three different cars here all put together in one. The front looks to be very similar to that of a Ferrari 599 GTB which isn't all that bad, and I do like the headlights, but the overall design of the front looks too similar to the C7 and basically just looks like a front engine car. The side air intakes here looks to resemble a McLaren 650S, so I like the side air intakes better on the actual production C8 because it sets it apart from the other supercars. The same thing with the back end here, I do like the design of those laser-like taillights, but the overall design is straight from the C7. They just changed up the LEDs on the taillights. Still a pretty cool looking back end though. This one here is pretty mean looking and I think I do like it. The overall shape of the car and the way the side air intakes flare out, making that rear end look really wide. I think this is something we might see a little more on the C8 Z06 to give it a little more width to the body as compared to the C8 Stingray. I don't know that it screams Corvette, but overall, I think this car is pretty cool looking. This one here, I'm not sure what to think about it because it's a little different from the production C8, but it has the C8 Trident wheels on it, so maybe this was a render before it was unveiled, but after some spy shots were seen of it. Either way, it's a fairly close design to the C8, but I have to say I do like the C8 side air vents better than the ones in this render. Overall, the shape of this car is very similar to what we got from GM. Not a bad render here. This one here has a LaFerrari design to it that I really like. It's very low and long and sleek looking. Especially that front end, how it really protrudes out like that and is very angular. These pictures look to be of an actual car that's being presented, not just a 3D model or rendering, and looks to have the Corvette badging right here on the front. So if you guys know more about this car, let me know in the comments down below. Maybe this was a mid-engine concept or prototype that was presented some time ago. The way the roof lines are designed and even part of the side air intakes, how it starts on the door like that, are very similar to the actual production C8 we got. So I'm curious to see where this design came from. This next one here is pretty interesting. This looks to be an actual C7 Corvette that has just been converted. It has the C7 headlights, the same roof line, and the interior competition seats, as well as the C7 Stingray wheels. Although a pretty cool vision with the addition of the side air intakes, the C8 is so much cooler looking than this build right here. This one here looks to be a converted Acura NSX render with the same rear air ducts, roof line, and side mirrors. The front end here has been altered to make it look more like a Corvette branded car, and I think it looks pretty nice. This one has the addition of the C8 Trident spoke wheels as well. Overall, a pretty nice render to see the fusion of these two cars come together. This one here has a lot of C8 elements in it, which leads me to believe this one was created after the camoed spy shots were seen of the C8R, but prior to the car being unveiled, because the front end and the headlights are a little off. It's always cool to see different artists' perspectives and what they think the car looks like underneath the camo. And this one looks pretty close to the actual C8. This one here will be the last and final render. I like this one a lot. It has some elements of the C7 in it, while still looks like a mid-engine car. Those side air intakes are pretty cool design as well. Overall, a very nice render. 
After looking at all these renders that have come out over the past several years going back, it makes me appreciate the actual finished product that we got even more. It's truly an amazing design and I think GM did such a good job with it. I can't wait to see them on the road and I'm excited to see what the future holds for the C8s as other variants will surely be released in the years to come. Hope you guys enjoyed this upload. If you did, give it a like, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one.